Hello everyone, it's Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards and I'm here in my studio to share Curating Christmas 2020. It's time to spread some holiday cheer. I chose Home for the Holidays for the theme since that's where most of us are. And really this is something that I do just to help us spread um, holiday fun, to get to see a lot of the decorations that people have throughout their homes whether you share a tree or your craft room and how you have it decorated for Christmas. Um, it's also a chance for me to give back to everybody that makes creating so much fun for me throughout the year. I'm very blessed to share um, crafting with all of you and to read all your lovely comments, to watch your videos on your channels. And I'm very grateful for this wonderful community and all that we get to share together. So I'm gonna turn the camera around now and I'll share my craft room space and I'm going to talk a little bit about the prizes that I'll be giving away. All right, everybody have a wonderful holiday season. Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, however you're celebrating, um, Make it a good one, okay? Share joy, spread joy. Merry Christmas. All right, here we go. Here we are in my little craft area in the basement and I'll pan around the room so you can kind of see it. There's a cart that I have decorated thanks to Gina, who is Scrapanology. She decorated a cart one year, if you go back and look at some of the previous Curating Christmas videos. So this is just my little area. It's not very big and it's right by my laundry room, so, um, or my laundry space, really. <laughs> but anyway, here I have all sorts of wood stamps, um, many that you've seen me use on projects through the years. Here's one of my favorite Christmas stamps and um, the little take that I made this year using a vintage image. And then as you pan around, um, these are just some paint brushes and trims and little jars, things that I've thrifted over the years. And uh, this is a card from Muriel, Miss Cooper's Coop. Hi, Muriel. Um, and one of my favorite stamps that says, it's not what's under the tree that matters. It's who's gathered around it. Isn't that the truth, everybody? And then you can see some of my stamps here, as well as different Christmas cards I've received over the years. This one's from Laura. This one's from Rhonda. This one is from Alexandra. This one is from my friend Christine and Steven, all the way from Africa. Hello, you guys. Um, I think the card is when they lived here, but now they're not here anymore. Up, up here is a beautiful card from my friend Sheila, who passed away from cancer. And it says, be kind. And I leave that there as a reminder to always remember to be kind and also to pray for her family, who I know is missing her this Christmas. And. Uh, these are just some papers that I have in these little holders on the wall. There's a beautiful um, home decor piece that my friend Anna White made. Hi, Anna. So I have that hanging down here, although I think I'm gonna put it up on my door in the living room in a little while. Um, this is a basket with some really sweet things in it. This is a ginger that my friend Gloria, hi Gloria, made for me a couple Christmases ago. These are just some of the, um, also some of the decor items that I did this year, as well as a little snowman tag, a little angel snowman. And then you can see some of the other Christmas tags that I've done here on this cart. And then they're all stacked up and ready to go. And I haven't given them out yet. It's December 1st today. And I'm actually probably gonna be dropping them um, on people's doorsteps this year because we did not do a family Thanksgiving celebration because we're on lockdown here in Washington. Um, and just for safety with the rising numbers and everything, we, we did Thanksgiving very differently, as I'm sure many of you did too. And then down below here are all of the little trees that I make. Um, and I, I have quite a few of them started and I'm hoping to finish them up in the, in the next few weeks. So then it, if you keep going over to the left in my craft room, I, I have more wood stamps on shelves. I have more cards. You can see I put people's names on the cards who gave them to me. There's my friend Vicki, Susan. Hi Susan, hi Vicki. Um, the stamp was given to me by Susan and I just love that little ginger. Here's a card from my friend Chris, hi Chris. And I love that holly jolly card she made. Those are um, some of my favorite stamps from Paper Sweeties. As you know, I used to design for them. So hello to Debbie and everybody in the Paper Sweeties family, all of, all of my design team friends. I miss all of you guys. Um, and I love seeing all your wonderful projects on Instagram. Um, there's a tree in the background here that's in our TV area, um, so it's just kind of behind my craft area. 
these are some items that hold special places in my heart. This is an ornament that I got from Marilyn G. Hi, Marilyn. And then this is um, a tag that Annette made. I bought a set of these tags from Annette off her Etsy store one year, and I used four of them to give to my four sisters. And these two are what I have left. And I always hang them up in here, Annette, because you were one of the people that inspired me to make Christmas tags. This is one that Susan sent me that's crocheted around. It's so pretty. And I think, Vicki, did you send me this one? I can't remember for sure who sent me this one. I wish I'd put names on them. Um, if you swing around this way, uh, you can see uh, more cards up on top of my Billy bookcases here. Um, I have cards from Debbie from Paper Sweeties. There's another one from Anna. My friend Elise sent me that cute one with the polar bear. And uh, I think Sue Lely, Annette, uh, let's see. Um, Gloria sent me that one there. One's from the friend in the family. That one's from P. So Audrey Pettit sent me the, the red one right there. Um, and then as you tab, uh, come down in my craft room, you can see I have um, some decorative shelves that hold a lot of my things that I just treasure. Most of them are from the thrift store. And then there's cards and different things that people have made me. That little fox was made by my friend Laura, who's the Robin Laura on YouTube, and she's on Instagram too. Hi, Laura. And this is a card that Elise made. And I love this little vintage skating image. And I, I skated when I was young on a pond in Illinois, so I, I love anything to do with ice skating. That little snowman back there was given to me by my, my friend P. This little angel was also a gift. I can't remember who gave that to me. Was that you, Rhonda, or Sheila? I'm not sure. Um, Alexandra gave me that cute little bunny there. I have lots of vintage buttons and different buttons from sitting in jars, um, in vintage mason jars. This is a card from my friend Cindy right there that I just love. Cindy, hello to you and your family. Merry Christmas. And then this card here was done by the wonderful Sybil B, who is an incredible colorist and a creative person, a beautiful heart. And uh, you can see I have a bunch of um, trims and stuff in a bowl right there. So uh, then you tab down and these are all my baskets and bins, my books and things to inspire me. And uh, on these shelves here, there's a, a beautiful snowman that was a gift. Um, oh my gosh, the person who gave it to me, their mind is, their name is slipping my mind at the moment. It'll come back to me, but uh, she doesn't do videos anymore. And I hope she's doing well and I wish her a Merry Christmas. You can see the little snow ice cream uh, stamp that's one of my favorites, and I just did a video featuring that. If you come down further, here's a tag that uh, was made by Lilibeth. Hi, Lilibeth. Beautiful star tag, and I have it there to remind me that I want to make those again. I love how she sewed around the edges of these dies from Paper Tray Ink. And, uh, and then you see a lot of my 6x6 paper pads. I have the Christmas ones in front right now, so they're easy to reach for my little hot chocolate uh, tag that I made, as well as one of my favorite stamps featuring a hot chocolate mix. And that's by artist Diana Markham. I just love her stuff. Um, and then, you know, this is all the boring supply stuff, right? <laughs> Not much to see there. And there is my cart um, with all the main supplies that I use when I'm working down here. Um, as you move over into this area, I have a lot of my tags are just um, propped around right now so you guys would have pretty things to look at. Um, that little gingerbread ornament is one that I got for this year. I always try to get one gingerbread ornament a year and one angel ornament. So that gives us an outing um, that we go do together at Christmas time. And then there's my little choir gingerbread. These turned out really cute, I think, and I really like them. Um, then, uh, there's a little house that I made with um, some dies from Paper Sweeties, and that's a little ornament that goes on my tree each year. Those are the little sleepy gingers, and uh, some other gingerbreads that I shared earlier in the season. Um, there's all my baking theme tags using the wonderful die set from uh, Impression Obsession that Anna designed. Hi, Anna. And then as you come up here, you can see I have a sign that says, so blessed. I love that saying. And uh, just a reminder how blessed we all are to count our blessings. And here's another tag that Lilibeth made. Um, I love that, that uh, 
you know I love all the hot cocoa themed tags. <laughs> One of my favorite Santa stamps. I just think that's a beautiful image of Santa. And uh, these are just a bunch of um, crochet doilies and a tag that Elise made. Hi Elise. Um, one of my favorite stamps, what I make with my hands, I give with my heart. Isn't that the truth, everybody? There's some more items in a little basket, different things that people have given to me, some crocheting from Susan. These little snow, snowmen say, say joyful, me too. <laughs> um, another gift from someone where I've kept the tin and different trims are still in there, though I've used many of them. <clears throat> and then as you come down here, there's some tags and buttons and bobs and a in a little dish and a picture of me and my husband when he was still here with us. That's on our wedding day. And uh, and then here's my snowman angel takes from this year and some of the polka doodles, um, takes that I made using a wonderful snowflake die from Simon Says Stamp. The Tim Holt Santa, which I will forever love and will always use. Hi Tim, I just love this die. I love all your new stuff too, but I have to be budget friendly and not buy too many new things at once. This is a beautiful um, ginger made by Kat. Hello Kat. These beautiful um, snowmen were made by my friend Rhonda. And uh, this little jar right here was something that Elise did that I purchased from her Etsy shop. And uh, this back in here is one of the gingers that I made this year. and. If you go in a little further, in that dish are some little Santas that Lilibeth made. Hi, Lilibeth. And I need to send some stuff to Lilibeth because she sent me some beautiful tags and I haven't reciprocated yet. So, um, Lilibeth, thank you. And, and uh, I have these there because I want to make some. I just love what you did. Um, here's some more gingers from this year. And uh, this one is a little hot cocoa tag. And you can see the little ginger crochet jar that my friend Susan sent to me recently. Hi, Susan. I love him. And then as you come up, this is one of my favorite stuffed animals or stuffed snowmen. I got this at the thrift store a number of years ago, and he sits in my craft room all year long. There's some little snowflakes. These are the little polka doodles um, snowflake tags that I made this year. And uh, I love that polka doodles image the different images that I put on them and that's the again the die from Simon Says Stamp. My friend Vicki made this beautiful quilted heart ornament and that just hangs on the letter J in my craft room all year long. That again is something that Elise sent me, this beautiful reindeer. Here you can see the little marshmallow Santa that Susan made, the, crocheted the hat and sent the little marshmallow Santa to me um, and it doubles as a, as a, a different one during Thanksgiving and autumn. Um, this is a little jar filled with the tatting threads from my great, from my grandmother Joyce. She's up in heaven now. Hi, Grandma Joyce. And uh, I love that little uh, Santa decoration that Elise made, so I still have that. There's my jar of bells and some red bells, a little dish with different stamps that I use frequently, and some buttons and bobs. Um, up here you, I have some trims that I always have in my room on spools. And I also have this beautiful um, ribbon holder and I switch it out to Christmas ribbons um, at this time of year and then in the spring I'll switch it over to spring ribbons and those are the ribbons that I use when I'm creating at my desk here. And then as you come over here you can see I have washi tape and more little things in a bowl, a beautiful tag that Susan sent me. Um, I sometimes have things in this little vase, I don't have anything in it right now. Um, there's one of the baking tags that I made with the little um, frosted cookie die from Impression Obsession. And uh, I have my rusty jingle bells sitting in a bottle there. Right there is a card that my friend uh, Cindy sent me. Hi Cindy again. Uh, and then this little card, I'm trying to remember who this one's from. I'm forgetting at the moment. Let me take a quick peek. Uh, oh yes, this one's from Paige Stamp Girl. Paige holds a special place in my heart because she helped me with a project when one of my friends, uh, one of my friend's mothers had cancer and her, I was trying to send a care package to her daughter and Paige helped me out and I've always remembered that and I treasure it. Um, and then there's another card down here. I think that one's by P if I remember correctly. And, uh, and then over here on this side of my desk is just where I have my blocks and all of my supply stuff. So 
and some stuff sitting here from the last video that I just shot. There's a card from my friend Elise, um, and I have that out on my desk during Christmas time every year. And then I have a bunch of little stamps on a little holder here. So um, that is everything in my craft room that I wanted to share you guys. And I just wanted to go over a few things regarding uh, curating for Christmas this year. So I'm gonna, I'll leave this um, at the end of the video so you can tab all the way to the end of the video if you need to see it again and also put it in the comments. And you can look at these tags while I read to you, okay? These are the last video that I uploaded um, with the cute recipe tags. So welcome to Curating Christmas 2020. The celebration theme is home for the holidays. And it, this is really a chance for me to give back to my wonderful subscribers who support my channel all year. I invite my subscribers to share a Christmas decor video to be eligible for a $25 drawing via PayPal. I will also be drawing two winners from the comments under this video for a crafty goodie from me. Um, comment must include either your favorite holiday tradition or one of your favorite Christmas craft items this year and a shout out to the company who created it. If you use one of those two things, I will know that you want to be part of um, the comment drawing for uh, the two, two winners I'll be drawing from the comments, sorry. Um, the celebration runs December 1st through December 31st, and the prizes will be drawn by January 10th, 2021. I am your host, Jill Norwood, and participants must be 18 years or older and a subscriber on my channel, or you could do it with an adult if you're a child and you wanna participate. So let's all spread some holiday cheer, you guys, and make this a very fun time of year for everybody. I know many of us are stuck at home and there's even some people that are alone at home and are feeling isolated. So what better way to spread some cheer than for everybody to share a little bit of the Christmas joy in their homes with each other. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas, a happy holiday season, happy Hanukkah, um, and I just hope that everybody has a wonderful, wonderful season together with those that you're with and even those that you're far away from. What a wonder it is that when this happened, we have Zoom <laughs> and Microsoft Teams. <laughs> so, and just video and the ability to text instantly. We live in a time where communication is vastly superior to the last time there was a pandemic. So, Merry Christmas, everyone. God bless you. God bless us, everyone. Bye now.